Yo, what is up and good morning YouTube. Thank you guys for tuning into another video. I hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to part two of our away trip in LA. So today is gonna be game day. Obviously I'm gonna be vlogging with you guys and showing you guys how we prepare and some highlights and then also our travel back to Charlotte. So right now it's currently 8.30 in the morning. I just woke up feeling really tired, about to go downstairs, get some breakfast, come back upstairs, probably rest a little bit and then start stretching, you know, start really focusing on getting uh, game ready and, you know, start getting ready to play. So uh, yeah, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, drop a like, let me know what you guys would like to see. And as usual, hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys downstairs when we grab breakfast. Let's go, yer. So we just got back from breakfast. It is currently 9.35 right now. I just got the Arsenal game on. Uh, we're playing against Brighton and hopefully we can catch a dub today. If we lose, you guys already know, man, it's tough being an Arsenal fan, but fingers crossed we get a dub today. We've been playing good, so hopefully we get a win. Uh, but as you guys saw for breakfast, I just had some eggs, some bacon. I had a ba uh, bagel and also a banana, but I'm saving those later for a little bit of a snack. We have a pregame meal at about three o'clock. So um, the rest of the day, we just have nothing much going on. We do have a walk at 10. And then after that, I'll probably get into the gym, start warming up, start doing some stretches and start really focusing on uh, game time. And I also might be uh, going for a walk later. So if there's a mall or something around, might check it out, might walk a little bit, just get my legs moving because the jet lag really, really has me feeling like really sore. So I just want to keep my legs moving and just be as ready for the game as we can. So. For the next 20 minutes, we're just going to kick back, watch the Arsenal game, and then uh, go for the team walk. So uh, I'll be kicking back for a little bit, and then I'll see you guys soon. Let's go. Team walk with the boys. Team walk with the boys. In LA, baby. LA, baby. Yes, sir. Good morning. Whoa. Nah, later. Shout out to all my fans. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> So we just got back from our little walk, went to a mall, uh, it was pretty nice. Actually got some new shoes, got some new uh, Air Maxes. You know, I've been wearing my shoes for, for uh, so long, the black Air Maxes that I have. I wear them for the gym and everything, so I just thought I'd just get some new shoes. Did that, and the sun is really hot out here, so I'm feeling really drained. Most importantly, I think I picked up some water and some Gatorade so I can stay hydrated, which is Super key. I think I'm gonna kick back for a little bit. Watch the uh, uh, Atletico and Barca game. It's gonna be on ESPN Plus, so I'm gonna watch that. Have a little snack, have a bagel, and just chill out until three o'clock. We're gonna be doing our pregame meal. Uh, depending on how I feel after we chill a little bit, we might hit the gym, do some uh, band work, you know, just to loosen up and stretch a little bit. But it all depends how we feel. So we're just gonna chill, kick back for a little bit, just enjoy the rest of the day, and then really start focusing on the game. So. Uh, yeah, it's just me right now. Poppy went to spend some time with his family, so just me kicking it. So I'll be here and then I'll see you guys when we go to pregame or when I go to the gym. So 
see you guys in a bit but so far la has been really nice like orange county is really nice it's one of my favorite places that i visit and it's just it's just cool to be out here to see different things to see really nice weather so it's really nice but yeah y'all so i'll see you guys in a bit all right y'all what is up so it is almost three o'clock we have a pregame in about uh, 40 minutes. So what I'm gonna be doing is I've just been upstairs in the hotel room and honestly just doing nothing I felt like I had to get some touches or I felt like I had to do something So I came downstairs to the gym I'm gonna just juggle a little bit play some music just relax just vibe a little bit and then uh, head to the pregame meal So we're having the pregame meal in the breakfast room where we had breakfast uh, Like I said, I'm probably just gonna be here for like 15 20 minutes and then uh, I'll head over to the uh, uh, pregame meal. So I'll see you guys soon. Bunch of food. We grubbing, grubbing. Bunch of food. Wow, wow, wow. Crazy, huh? Good. <laughs> Crush this. <laughs> I got crushing. Yes, sir. Fresh cut. Jeez. Let me see you, dog. Both teams reading each other's schemes. LA Force pretty much with the possession so far in these couple minutes. And they're having more dangerous. Here we go. Here's that counter for LA Force looking for anyone. And takes the shot. J hits the American. Got it over to Longo. And then Longo just sort of booted it back. And now in possession turns over. Well, back again to Stumptown. Surely there's going to be a shot on goal. And there's the shot. And just a kind of a P-roller straight into the hands of Cabrera. Very well done, though. Good effort for stump town and here we go oh short one trying to get the ball in there there is that ball into the area and then oh my word just misses two players just centimeters away from just poking in the back of the net look at that two players that was so close kicking themselves right now <laughs> here we go oh, oh very well done i thought it was saved Goalkeeper did very, very well to see it, but it went in and let's put it the way it should be put. LA Force 1, Stumptown 0. Throw in for LA Force. Padilla does the throw in, gets the ball back. Oh, Vion, nice one. Good movement by LA Force into the box. Surely takes the shot. Gets into the base. Yes! And fantastic movement. Takes the shot off. Middle of the pitch, chooses to go to his right, finds his finds his player, goes back in. You can see just Stump Town just moving around, going from one player to the next. Nice shot! Just over the crossbar. And it looked like it was number eight, was it Ciro? Yeah. Oliveira. Yeah. Great shot. Yeah. Just a little bit over the crossbar, but great effort. Very intelligent football by Gonzalez right now. And good football from Stumptown who haven't, in the second half, put the finger over the panic button yet. There's that shot. And very well, very well saved by Cabrera. Moves to his left. Cabrera's eyeing the ball. And saved! Saved by Cabrera! He's going to be kicking himself. 
uh, and quick action on the other side of the pitch. Well, everyone's focused on this one. Look at this! Take the shot! There's the goal! There's the goal! From one side to the next! Anyone. <laughs> Nobody over the ball. Four men. There's the shot! It's a goal! <laughs> it's a goal! Neymar just cool as a cucumber! Just takes the shot! Leaves Cabrera flat-footed! Shocker of shocks! <laughs> it's 2-1! That was Nambar <laughs> with the... Right now we've got about 10 minutes to go and I'm... Hoping everyone out there on the worldwide spiderweb is watching this right now. Look at this. It's one on three. Takes the shot. It goes through. Yes! Yes! Two, two! 80th minute! 80 what is going on here in Southern California? Unbelievable! What a comeback by Stumptown AC! Yo, so it is currently 9.30 a.m. We are currently at the airport with Poppy, Isma, Sean, Gio. Just having some lunch. So we are actually hella tired. Yo, shout out to my fans. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm link below. Thank you. <laughs> we're hella, hella tired. So we are flying the whole day. We're not getting back to Charlotte until 6 p.m. tonight. So. We have a two hour layover and then back to Charlotte, so we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Yo, what is up? So it is currently 9.30 right now. I'm just getting ready for bed. I'm about to brush my teeth in the bathroom, but it was so cool to bring you guys along with me to Orange County. I know I've been saying I've been in LA and a lot of people are telling me that LA and Orange County are different, but for me, it was all the same. It was just really cool to bring you guys along with me. As you guys saw with the highlights, we ended up tying 2-2 going down two men. So we got a red card in the 20th minute and it was just a disaster. Like everything was just going wrong for us in the first half. In the second half, we just grinded it out. Even though despite the fact that we were down two men, the boys grinded out so hard. Like the energy at the game, it was just like, you know, I, I wish I could be on the field just to support the boys and help them. But when we ended up scoring the second goal, you guys saw from our celebration, it was just so surreal. It was just amazing, especially for Yuki to score and all the guys to just really grind it out. So really, really uh, hard fought point. And I'm so happy that you guys could see it. And it's just a super blessed weekend because I got to do a lot of things, got to see a lot of things in Orange County. And it was just overall a, a really blessed weekend. So I was happy to take you guys along with me as usual. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment below. If you guys like the part one and the part two series, let me know what your favorite part was. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go. Here. It's easy to say it when you can't even explain. But I'm trying to go past that and dive into my brain. I'm one of a kind. I'm idiosyncratic. Spitting in my attic. Charged with no static.